just woke up. Me and my mom didn't go to bed until like 8 o'clock this morning almost. And like now my whole family's fighting because my dad was supposed to be watching my cat and my dog. And then he was supposed to also wake me back up so I could take my pills. And he didn't do none of that. So I just had to get up and do that for myself. But my package is finally here. Um, so that finishes off my collection for The Magic Thief. And I can finally do my bookshelf tour. Hello. Hi. So my, um, today's date is March 17th. Not that anybody cares. But, um, my bookshelf tour just went up. And this is what I'm currently reading. It's Light Lark by Alex Astor. And, like, nothing is keeping my attention. I'm thinking I'm just in a really bad reading slump. So, I'm thinking I'm just going to, like, try and read my children's book series I just got in and see if that gets me out of this because, like, I need out of this reading slump. I almost got away with it, and I was telling some people in the group that I'm in that I'm having really bad, um, 
like writer's block, but for reading, my brain's not braining right now. I'm in a really bad reading swamp, so that's what I was looking for. So they said, well, read something that's like more like a kid's book that you have, and like, that should help you out of your reading swamp. And so far, so good. Um, this is X Library, and it's actually like in pretty bad condition being X Library. Um, so yeah, I'm like, on chapter 3 right now, which is page 35. I'm gonna try to pick up Light Lark again and see if I can get to it. I love you, buddy. My mom just washed clothes, and I'm living my best life right now. Okay, so my hair is hit right now. But, um, something that I noticed earlier when I was watching... No, shut up. Okay, um, earlier when I was watching Lachlan's vlog that she comes out with every Sunday, she was saying that lately for her, a lot of... YA fantasies or like new adult fantasies have been pretty hit or miss for her and like I'm feeling her on that at the moment because like everybody is raving about this book and like the author is so so nice and I feel so bad like temporarily DNFing it so, like, I just can't get myself into it. But I'm not having a problem reading my other book that I'm currently working on. You see, I'm already tapping it. Like, I mean, granted, I read this before in childhood. But I'm just wondering if this is, like, another, like, you know, right book, wrong time situation. With the reading slump that I've been in. There's, it's gotta be something. So, I'm thinking that I'm still in my reading slump. And it's like really irritating me because I was really looking forward to Light Lark and then the author told me she really hopes that I like it and like I feel bad temporarily DNFing it. It's not that it's a bad book because so far it's good. It's just not keeping my attention. It's not something that I'm sitting there cringing or anything like that. It's just not get, keeping my attention. Because like it's almost... Most fantasy books right now are almost too predictable for me. Especially when there's not a romantic subplot to it, like, right away. But then again, this does not have a romantic subplot to it right away for me either. Because this is literally a book about a kid that becomes a wizard's apprentice. I don't know what my issue is right now. I don't. And I've been forgetting to pick back up Akawar and try to finish that too. So I think I'm going to put Light Lark back on my shelf. Try to finish this and then get back into Akawar. That's, that's got to be a game plan. Okay, multiple things to discuss in this vlog. Well, this piece of the vlog anyway. Is number one, all those will be gone soon. Because I finally got my closet back. And number two is... Until I get a different Kindle, if I end up liking it or not, I don't know. But until then, I am charging up my old tablet to use as an e-reader. Because that Kindle is driving me loca. I only used it to read one time in the last week. And I used it for 15 minutes. And it's down to 40% without me touching it. So, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. So, I'm going to use my Samsung tablet. At least, like, I feel better about that than going out and spending more money that I need for other things right now. Because I'm planning my 21st birthday party still, so. 
yeah, that's the plan for that. And then we just hit 200. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, we hit 200 followers on my um, Threads app, which is so awesome because in the amount of time I've had Threads uh, for my other accounts, I've never even hit 50. So you guys are so sweet and I want to thank you so much. It is killing me right now because there's some stuff I want to annotate in Zodiac Academy that I read on my Kindle. But my family's like screaming at me, go to bed. And if I do that, they'll know I'm awake. I have to turn the light on. And I don't want to wake this little guy over here up, so... ...are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. Coach knew how to pick his victims. Yeah. We didn't have a lot of male and male disclosures down in Atlanta. Yeah, neither. Nobody reports. Plus, they're tricky to prosecute. Yeah, I had a sex crimes professor say that male yeah. victims are where female dicks were 40 years ago. Yeah, it's the dark ages. And they feel like they should be able to protect themselves. That's Absolutely. So Some dicks experience arousal, which is a normal physical response, but they worry that means consent. Or so, right now, I'm currently in to, um, almost the second chapter of Haunting Adeline, and I am starting to see why people don't like it, just, like, the cringe factor alone. Like, the text messages, or, like, her self, like, obsession in this book already. I mean, I'm going to try to push on because it's not a terrible book. It's just like, I'm not a fan of her self-obsession and the way that her, she interacts with people, I guess. Alright, so my hands are pretty sticky feeling right now, so I'm going to go wash them. And then we're going to do a little mix tease over with these. Because, like, at least my hands could look decent tomorrow for my doctor's appointment. I can't sleep anyway, so. Alright, so I can't find my nail glue. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave my nails on. And then I'm just going to, um, put my hair into my fake out braids. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Just let me get a brush through my hair. And fair warning, my hair is really gross right now. Because of the fact that... Um, I can't get in the shower because my body won't physically allow me to at the moment. Um, anybody that has a chronic, um, like, type of illness knows that could be a problem sometimes. So, yeah, just heads up. Alright, so, I'm using rubber bands because of the fact that I don't have small hair ties. So my first move, and yes, I'm aware my hair is actually really, really long. Um, I do give myself my own little wolf cuts. So I'm going to take a bangs piece from right about here. And I'm just going to move that to the back. And then this I'm going to grab onto and I'm going to tie off. This is my scrunchie. Just to keep it out of my way. braid it. I want to make sure I'm angling it perfectly correct. Because if you braid it going down or this way, then when you pull it back this way, it's going to hurt. And it's going to look really funny too. Alright, I'm just going to get it far enough down to make it 
worthwhile. I'm not going to use my new one, because why would I do that? And tie it off right here. You don't have to get it too far down for the first couple, or really at all, during this whole process. After that, it is going to like this. Flip down the middle. And then I'm going to break that in. And then I'm going to repeat the process the entire way down the back of my head. If you guys want to go all the way down to like the very end for the last braid, that's on you. But for this one, I think I'm just going to go to like here and then like just tie it off. Maybe curl it in the morning. I don't know. But yeah, that's how I do it. decided the braids are going all the way down because just looking at the ends of my hair you can tell it's greasy so I decided we're going all the way down to the ends. I am here to tell you today that your feelings are valid. Your trauma so, yeah. is valid. That's your how I do my cheater braids if you ever wonder. So let's do the other side. myself over it. It makes my hair look better than it did. I mean, my hair is still super long with the braid. It's been several days since the murders. It'll be fine. started packing for in case the hospital keeps me and this is this is what happened
All right, so I'm wearing the same outfit as in the next clip, so just pretend it's like I actually updated. So I went to the Cleveland Clinic. Cleveland Clinic said that basically I um I do have hot syndromes so far that she wants me reevaluated for Ehlers Danlos because they believe I have that even though my current rheumatologist refuses to diagnose. Number three is they do believe that I have Tourette syndrome that my other neurologist has said that I'm faking. So yeah, that's the update from uh, my doctor's appointment. So I have not updated this vlog in days. As you can see, I'm on my computer right now watching TV. But um, all I'm about to do is I'm gonna um reread and fix my annotations on it ends with us because like the movie is coming out soon and I just kind of want to have that like refresher while I'm thinking about it so that's what I'm gonna do but to see that you're gonna have to watch my next vlog